what is up everybody welcome back what is up everybody it is Natty B welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber what's up why do I feel like I did that intro wrong like I'm low-key you're gonna you guys are gonna laugh at me I've like said it before bed and been like that just doesn't sound right do I always say welcome twice is that a thing? Let's go watch an old video. Ready? What is up everybody? It is Natty B. I'm back with another video. If you are new to my channel, oh. if you're a trans subscriber. Duh. Ready? Let's redo it. What is up everybody? It is Natty B. Back with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Got it. You always have to just jog your memory a little, you know? For today's video, I feel like I haven't sat down with you guys in a while. Like, I just am usually vlogging and I don't really sit down. So, hey, how are ya? I will be doing the inner cat eye look that I do for my everyday makeup. I have been getting a lot of DMs about it or comments on my videos asking for a tutorial on it. And it is so easy, so here I am to just hop on and show you guys. Also, can you guys comment on my hair? Like, I think I hate it. I think I hate it. It just like looks so weird. I feel like that color is like brass on me. It's not like a pretty blonde. It just like looks weird. And I think I hate it. So I need to go get that done. I am kind of thinking, I love my dark hair, but I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna do like an old ombre. Here is a photo of what I'm thinking. I used to like have my hair like this when I slowly transitioned to blonde and now I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it like that. Let me know your thoughts down below on if you guys agree or if you disagree. I'm not gonna show you guys how I do my base because I feel like that always takes so long and I just wanna kinda hop into it and just go straight to the cat eye look. I am going to do that, but I'll show you guys what my base is for my daily makeup, and then you guys will figure it out, you know? For just an everyday makeup, I will use this glow screen from Supergoop. I will link it below. It is SPF 40, right? Yeah. And it is like a tinted moisturizer, so it looks like I'm wearing foundation even when I'm really not. From there, instead of using... A legit concealer that I use for my night makeup. I use this Urban Decay pencil. It is so old. I got it my sophomore year of college. So it's like six years old. No, I'm not that old. It's like four years old. Five, four to five years old. And it is in the shade NSA. I don't think they have it anymore. I've looked for it. So I've been keeping this as like my secret holy grail but for my under eyes I don't do a full under eye I just uh, get a little bit and just go right in my inner corners where it's super dark right there I don't bring it out anymore I don't want to lighten anything else I just kind of conceal that area and then I conceal the redness on my under nose and my chin and then if I'm feeling crazy my smile lines because my smile lines get so red which makes no sense but that's what I conceal, and then I'll just go over my whole face in translucent powder, and then add my regular um, powder con contour, geez louise, and then I'll do my eyes. So, that's what it is for my face. I will snap my fingers, and then I'll be back with the eye tutorial. My sunscreen's on, my translucent powder, my cover-up, and my um, setting powder is all on. Let's get into it. We start with my handy dandy James Charles palette. Ignore this stupid nail. I will take just a fluffy brush, a pretty big one at that as well, and I will dip it into this light shade right here and this shade here. And I will just put that all over my eye. Like legit under the brow, the lid, bring it out a little, just all over, okay? 
and do that on the other side as well. Now we have our base down. Here's my little handy dandy mirror so I can look at myself really close up. This angled brush, it is mostly for under eye, but I use it in this sense, or for this look, I guess you can say. We're gonna get a lighter color and we're gonna do kind of this like light orangish right here, burnt orange. <clears throat> and we'll dab it off a lot. And what we'll do is we'll get any sort of paper that I have nearby. <laughs> it's like really messy, okay? And I will literally go like this. It's a message from Brooke there. I will literally go like this and I will put it up to where I think the perfect cat eye is. And I will just go here and I'll take it. And I'll brush it across my lash line and bring it out a little bit as well. I don't want it focusing on my nails there. Okay? And then you'll get it like that. And it'll look like a sharp line, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. So do that on both sides. And there you have it. It looks wild, okay? That side's clearly darker than the other, so let's go back and do this side. And now that we're getting darker, I have hooded eyes, so I will take it and bring it kind of up into the crease. So it's like that. Okay? So then when I open, it looks just like a wing, but then when you go down, there's like an opening, if that makes sense. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Get it in that young opening. I've got hella eyelid skin, that's for sure. And now you have that. I hope that looks good, I cannot see. It looks a little crazy, I get that, okay? And I am queen of crazy, so that's okay. Now we're gonna switch brushes. Now we're gonna go for this tipped brush or this angled brush nice and skinny little angle brush we love a little skinny and I am going to take a darker color so I am going to take this one I love a good dark pat it off and now we're doing it by hand you guys let me get my mirror out so this is like really good and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it from this, uh, like the crease. So I'm gonna get it on my waterline and just bring it out, okay? And I'm just gonna like stamp it so I know exactly where it is. Ignore that I'm not gonna be looking at you. So I just stamp it on and also bring it onto my waterline. And I keep bringing it out, but I'm stamping it so that the line isn't, it's still kind of straight, if that makes sense. Dip it in more. And I'm gonna stamp one time and now bring it onto my lid. And I will lightly brush it across my lash line. And I'm gonna get it into the corner okay so it's all about just moving that product around it does not have to be pretty like it's literally it doesn't have to look that great if that makes sense like it's kind of supposed to look a little bit messy and that's what kind of makes it look really good so then I'm just gonna darken it a little bit more and bring it more on to my lid like that Voila. So make sure you get it to the corner of your eyelid. And from there, we're gonna do the other side. And then we're gonna do the inner corner. That's kind of what I do last, just because it's easy. I feel like it, 
it doesn't stay as long as like the outer does so I always do that last if that makes sense so let's do the other side Now here's like the not fun part, but you're gonna have to get the eyeshadow on your waterline. This is what makes it pop the most. Go. And it darkens your waterline, and I love that. I am not a white waterline girl, I'm a dark waterline girl. I prefer dark eye makeup around my eyes just makes them look better. I don't know what it is. I've never liked like the super wide eyes. Maybe it's because I have big eyes, but I always darken my waterline. And sometimes you paint your eyeball and that's okay. So I've darkened my waterline. Now let's take it in. We're going to take it in to the inner corner. And what I'm going to do is the stamping thing again. But I'm just going to bring it to there. And then I'm going to connect it. So it looks like that. And it'll look better once I put mascara on. But let's do the other side just so you guys can see. It out sometimes you get an eye booger it's just the reality of it it's what's gonna happen you're gonna bring it out and then connect it in and you kind of want that Cleopatra vibe ignore my eye bags I know they suck when you're done with that we're gonna go back to this angled brush I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit and we're gonna go back in with the same color that you did this outer line with and what you're gonna do is just kind of messily brush it under your eye too on both sides I love my under eye eyeshadow it's like my favorite and now you're looking at it and you're like nah that looks messy and I'm gonna say you know what you're right and I always think that and I get nervous, but for some for some reason it always looks good at that. And I'll just kind of brush away if I have any under eye remnants. Now let's go in with my mascara. Actually, let's brush my eyebrows first. I use Babe Lash. You're really zoomed in now. I use Babe Lash eyebrow um, brush and gel. And all I do is literally just brush them up lightly just to make them look a little bit prettier and a wee bit darker. I have such dark eyebrows already, so I don't need to do that much to be honest. Let's go in with my good old handy dandy mascara. As always, I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I kind of want to do a series on my Instagram stories like Bretman Rock did a year ago where I rate all of my favorite mascaras. I think I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna go buy a ton of them and see which ones are my favorite. So let's get in to the mascara. Down and up. Roll it as you are going up and then focus heavily on bringing the lashes out to the side to emphasize the cat eye look. Press it a little as if it's a uh, an eyelash curler, if that makes sense. And then use the remaining for the bottom. Just kind of dab that on. So now that you see like little speckles here from mascara, what you're gonna do is you're gonna let it dry for like a minute. La di da di da. 
And to get rid of it, you're gonna take a brush like this, like a little wispy brush. Come on. Like a little wispy brush. That nail is so gross. And you are literally going to brush it off. And it'll go away. You learn something new every day. Let me know if you knew that. I didn't know that until like maybe a year ago. And I thought it was so helpful. Last thing to do to my face is my lips. Are my lips? Come on, not grammar. And I, as always, use the Morphe liner, lip liner. They are just $4. They're so cheap and they, I love the colors. It just looks so freaking good. I need to sharpen it, but this is the shade Honeymoon. I use this for most of my day looks and pretty much all of my night looks as well. I don't know why I just discriminated to only, no, all the shavings just fell into my purse or into my makeup bag. That was stupid. So I'm gonna take my lip liner and just, I kind of leave the lip liner in one spot and then I move my head to put it on. I don't think a lot of people do that. Orion. Then I use setting spray. I ran out of my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, so I am trying this Inglo Inglot Makeup Fixer setting spray. Set it in place, and then we'll do a little bit of a light highlighter, not too crazy on the everyday makeup look vibe. Nose. You might think, Nat, you just put it on a lot of spots. Well, I didn't put a lot on, so it evens out. So that is my everyday makeup look. It's just easy on my face, yet I still, I feel my best when my eyes are done. I think it's definitely a personal thing. I don't like having bare eyes. I think it's because it takes away from my eye bags. I don't think it attracts more. I could be wrong. I probably am attracting it more, but, oops, sorry. But I like having a more, I like having my eyes done more. I'd rather have my eyes done more than my face. So I do a simple face, still do my eyes, and that is how I do my inner cat eye look. I hope this helped. I've been doing this makeup for like three months now, so obviously I stand by it. So let me know if you guys like it, if you guys try it out. I love to see it when you guys do stuff that I post on YouTube or on Instagram. So keep me in the loop. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if I helped at all. And that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will let me know what videos you want to see in the future and I will see you next time.